Hey everyone, so I got a DJI Osmo Action 3 camera and the footage from it was just awfully blurry. It was obviously out of focus and of course I couldn't just return the thing like a normal person would. Instead I went down the rabbit hole researching online of what went wrong and how to fix it. So here's my experience with it and hopefully it's helpful to you. So TLDR, at least in my case, this was a manufacturing issue. Uh, it can be fixed by rotating the lens counterclockwise until you get a sharp picture uh, of objects that about uh, 30 centimeters and uh, further from the camera. This was absolutely not a software issue and no amount of updates was going to fix this. Uh, probably, hopefully, this only concerns the earlier badges. I have not seen a comment of someone who had this issue with units manufactured in November 2022 and uh, later, not yet anyway. Uh, my unit was manufactured in August 2022. I put a link to a nice tutorial on how to fix the issue in the video description. Obviously this is absolutely not something a user should do. Without a proper tool, there is a high chance you will just break the lens before you manage to loosen the glue that holds the lens in place, as I almost did actually. Uh, if it is not too much of an inconvenience for you um, to return the thing, just do that. But if you, for example, purchase the camera in another country or if you got it second hand or something, this might be worth a try and it worked for me. So as I said, the lens is glued in position and initially it took me quite a bit of time and considerable uh, amount of crimping force to be able to break the glue uh, and uh, turn the lens. And after trying all sorts of tweezers without any success, I ended up heating the thing with a heat gun, uh, within reason of course, and using this uh, pretty strong clamp. Uh, you can also uh, remove this uh, rubber ring uh, to give yourself a bit more space and possibly also a bit less friction. Uh, might help, might not, I don't know. Uh, the second link in the video description shows someone with a much better setup than me. Uh, he put a tutorial on, on the very end of the video. It starts at around uh, 8 minutes and 50 seconds. So you can use that for inspiration. So step by step, uh, first you remove the lens cover. This is intended to be user re replaceable, so there's no issue here. And this orange seal under the lens cover is what holds the water back. So luckily, no matter how badly you scratch around the lens, it shouldn't affect the waterproofing. Uh, so as you can see, the whole circumference of the lens is fucked up from my uh, amateur attempt. But in the end I battled through and I turned it without damaging the uh, glass, which is what matters. The red line shows about where it was out of the box and the green shows how far I have turned it. I have seen online that uh, you should turn it anywhere between 5 and 20 degrees counterclockwise, but I ended up turning it way more, probably over 30 degrees. Uh, after you manage to initially break the glue and turn the lens. Uh, it's a good idea to connect the camera uh, to a computer as a webcam, so you can quickly see the results when you are adjusting the lens. If you turn the lens too far counterclockwise, you will get the camera to do macro shots essentially. I suppose you can consider this as an additional feature if you are a glass half full kind of person. Obvious concern here is whether the lens will turn by itself when it's not set in place by glue due to vibration when mounted on a bike for example. I don't think that's the case as even with the glue broken it's still tight enough that uh, I actually need a tool to turn the lens. I can't just uh, use my fingernails. Uh, maybe over time with weeks or months of using it the lens might uh, turn a little bit but in that case it's easy to readjust it again. Following is a photo and video of before and after. Well, roughly as it was before as I turned the lens back clockwise uh, just for this video because I didn't have any, any footage of uh, how it was out of the box. Uh, disregard the grain, especially on the still pictures. 
that's that's because uh, well the light was very bad and also I had it set to a raw and I just converted the raw uh, format to PNG so this is how it turned out but uh, you can still uh, see the focus issue and uh, the difference is night and day so on the photos the ketchup is uh, 30 centimeters from the camera the shampoo is about 60 centimeters the Listerine bottle is one meter and the I love coffee mug is probably a bit less than two meters away from the camera.